So again, I'm going to go back to uh, to my Torus software. I'm going to open up another drawing, which is for which is to demonstrate the adaptive roundabout. So again, I'm using a um, an area of photo. I could use any design, and the purpose is to check some spatial requirements as, as well as some speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm again going to use the roundabout wizard, but this time I'm going to use the adaptive roundabout tool. Uh, this is an example from Germany. So this is a right-hand traffic uh, single lane four-leg roundabout. And what this tool helps me with is to place a roundabout template which can be edited Uh, numerically, so I can I can decrease down the center line into somewhat 10 or 10, uh, 12 or 12 and a half meter. Uh, the track apron seems to be correct. I could also move the central of this roundabout, and I have certain tools to to match any kind of design what I have. So I could set up uh, some lane configurations. This roundabout is fairly easy. It has only one circulating lane. It has only uh, one entry lanes and exit lanes per every leg. I could also turn off exit or entry locations or legs. What I can also do is to rotate a leg and also what I can do is either to redraw an edge of a leg or to edit an edge. So first of all what I would like to do is to scale this roundabout down a little bit and then to perform some uh, smaller adjustments. So I can place I can play a little bit with these grips in order to match a roundabout design or just an existing scenario. So if you if you are working to a city municipality and if you have a problematic spot where many many accidents happen, then uh, this might be a tool which which you're looking for just to figure out uh, any kind of swept path. Uh, issues or any kind of speed issues. Again, just to demonstrate to you, I can also redraw a complete edge. So if there, if there would be a number of uh, of clicks and and grip editing involved, I can just what I can just do is to redefine an edge very quickly. So I'm not going to spend time on uh, on matching this roundabout. I'm going to zoom out and, and zoom here back again. So I have this roundabout matched already and what I'm going to do is to uh, place certain certain maneuvers uh, on this roundabout. So what I can do is to go to evaluate movement and uh, I'm going to add a, a movement with a 12 meter long bus let's say going through this roundabout here. So by selecting the entry uh, location and the exit location the movement is automatically placed. I do have some warning messages. These are uh, at places where the vehicle needed to cross these edges what I have defined. And also I have the potential to tweak these movements a little bit. So obviously this is the apron area, so the vehicle can take that apron, but it tries to avoid it. Another example what what it could be is if I turn this off is for instance uh, a garbage truck, 
a somewhat larger garbage truck which needs to access this this uh, small residential road or residential area and to figure out uh, how could that uh, behave there. So what helps a lot for designers is that these vehicles, we have a, a, a feedback on the speed and also we have the possibility to change these vehicles anytime. So if I go back I do have the uh, access, do have access to all the auto turn vehicles and I'm going to use uh, let's say a smaller garbage truck and the path is automatically updated. Obviously uh, I need to, uh, it's, it's up to the designer which of these warning messages uh, does he or she pay attention. Uh, if it is just uh, a slight conflict with the middle of the road, I wouldn't really pay attention, or if it is just a conflict with something where there is no uh, no island, no physical island, uh, that's, that also could be fine. Zooming out a little bit, uh, we have again a number of, uh, of regional, um, regional roundabouts matched. Some of these are uh, are over roundabouts or non-circular roundabouts. Again to these roundabouts, going to use a start slightly larger vehicle. For these roundabouts I can also choose the entry entry lane and the exit lane. So for multi-lane roundabouts, because that's the way how it is defined, I can simulate how a vehicle is taking the entry lane and then spiraling out. Perhaps here it's still using the entry, uh, uh, the inner entry lane, spiraling out and then taking the exit lane. 